Uh, good coffee morning, YouTubes. I hope you all are well. So I got a notice in the e emails from YouTube that I wasn't getting a strike, but I was warned. Because somewhere back in time, I had posted a photo, and I thought it was, and it should have been shareable. So I'm not sure why they, they flagged this and gave me a nasty note about it. Well, I am sure why they did, because we're getting ignorant about this political correctness. Anyway, the photo was of a young Vietnamese child scorched from napalm, naked, walking down the street. And just that little conversation alone might be enough to trigger people and wonder where the hell I'm going with this. I'm going to the use of weapons without cons napalm. Whole towns splattered with this stuff. Again, I, I wasn't combat, but I did go visit our brothers in Navy wards on Marine Corps bases that are now long dead from Agent Orange. What we inflicted on our own and this wasn't just a few people. This was dozens of people. So anyway, YouTube said that picture is nasty. I can imagine it's because somebody thinks it's child porn. Well, it's war porn. It's what this stuff looks like. It's kind of akin to when Bush in Iraq and our military used depleted uranium. And nobody cared. Well, some people cared. So you watch these silliness things going on. And, you know, you see the reason. Child abuse porn. It, fuck that. Fuck them. Jeffrey Epstein's and Trump's of the world. So, yeah, that picture almost got me a strike on YouTube. If you've noticed, I don't give really two shits about the YouTube algorithms or I would play and it's not why I'm here so the only way you could help is if you had about a half a million dollars I'll come to you with a lab proposal and we'll go science the fuck out of stuff somewhere otherwise I'm not asking so that's just this channel this is a real frickin' world we're playing in out here. So, Mr. Trump, Mr. Obama, in his lack of discretion and forcing formal rules for drone engagements means we blow up wedding parties, eh? How's that for uh, American greatness? We're so great, we can't get the person. We have to go just kill indiscriminately. That's great. That's a, Yeah, tell me about your... So, I ran right before I got out of the Marine Corps. Our base mounted out and moved to an airfield. And we camped, waiting for airplanes to come pick us up and take us to Iran. And if you don't think we were ready, you don't know us. But we didn't go. Instead, we stayed out in the field without water waiting for airplanes. And about 40% of the force ended up with dysentery and sick. If the planes had actually landed after about three or four days of us waiting for them, we would have had such a sick disease. That I can't imagine flying in a plane with a whole bunch of dysentery stricken soldiers with 80 pound backpacks flying across the Atlantic. What the fuck? So, yeah, shit happens. The best laid plans of mice and men. 
So shortly after that little fiasco, my closest chance to go kill people that I ever had, I didn't miss it. it it's something I never wanted. Although some of my buddies did. So yeah, little fond memories. Now inside of this, under this, Mr. Obama and the Democratic Party and all these progressive yahoos that want to brag about crap gave the Department of Defense an open checkbook to go buy mineral companies. Now what they do is they hand those checks to corporations and tell them go do our bidding. Go get those minerals. We'll cover your ass. So that's the Manhattan Project. This is the DOD having money over what should be, right? This is capitalism, not communism, not socialism. So the D, both parties gave the Department of Defense trillions of dollars. Defense Department, what are they protecting? This is pathetic. Vote Bernie. Listen to Bernie anyway. He's got some ideas. If enough progressives can get in along with him, enough young people that can see past their uh, personal beliefs into a bigger world, please. <laughs> so, our great Democratic and Republican run mess has given trillions of dollars to the Department of Defense, right? Not Department of... It shouldn't have been Department of anybody. Ah, oh, well. So our socialist, communist military in America is taking over all avenues of American life? Is that, what the, is that what's, what's going on here? Who's playing this game? Who is playing our game? Trillions of dollars. Tactical nuclear weapons. Can you imagine if we had tactical nuclear weapons available to uh, oh, field commanders, touchy-feely commanders, thoughts and prayers commanders, with tactical nuclear weapons? It's bad enough we've got the strategic ones that we've got. Where's the democratic outrage? Where's the moral outrage from the religious societies that give man so much power over God's domain, right? Thoughts and prayers are going to fix this. Scaredy phrase. Oh, my God. People are afraid of a state. There's people in California. Oh, no. They're out there these insecure folks don't be a Richard I suppose <laughs>